Today we'll talk about base running, specifically 12 foot steel leads at first base. In our program, we do not use measured leads. This is a measured lead when the runner stands on first base, crosses over, and squares up with his feet. Here's the danger with using a measured lead with crossed feet. If the pitcher picks the first base while the runner's feet are in this position, the runner will probably be able to get back to the bag safely using the technique you see here. But if the pitcher picks the first base with what we call an early move, as the runner transitions from crossing over to squaring up, right about now, you can see the runner is in no position to get back to first base. Here's an example of a successful early move pick to first base, nailing the runner just as he transitions from crossing over to squaring up. Instead of using measured leads with crossed feet, in our program, we use what we call a right foot shuffle shuffle steel lead out to 12 feet, 12 feet being the distance between our left foot and the back corner of first base. Here's what it looks like. Right foot, shuffle shuffle, and then we creep out to 12 feet. Let's watch now at regular speed, and notice the runner never crosses over, always remaining in an athletic position from which to get back to first base in case the pitcher attempts to nail us with an early move. It's also important that we take our lead from the back corner of first base. A key to being a good base dealer is being comfortable off the bag, and being comfortable off the bag means having a clear lane to dive back to first base, and that clear lane is to the back corner of the bag, away from the first baseman's tag. We want kids to be able to get 12 foot leads no matter what diamond they're playing on. If they're playing on turf, if they're playing on dirt, if they're playing on grass, whether there's a cutout or not. So one drill we do is we'll have them take 12 foot leads with their eyes open three or four times. Get a, we, ask, we tell them to feel it. And then I'll have them shut their eyes. And they'll take a right foot shuffle shuffle creep lead out to 12 feet and they'll do it with their eyes shut. Then I tell them to open them and they see where they are. Maybe they're a little short, maybe they're a little long. Then they go back through and they do it again and we keep doing it until they can find 12 feet with their eyes closed. That way they can find 12 feet on any diamond that we'll ever play on.